In this video, we will solve a Python challenge. The program is about calculating tax tip and total amount for your meal in a restaurant visit. So let's read challenge. This program will ask users the cost of your meal at a restaurant. It will then calculate the tax tip and total for your meal. So we have requirements listed. So the first requirement, the program should prompt the user to enter the cost of the meal. So how do we enter input data into our program? So we use input function and inside input we can prompt anything, any text that user will see. We can say please enter meal cost amount and this is what input does it enters user enters the input and then it receives data from the user from the keyword so next requirement the cost of meal should be entered as a decimal number okay so we need to set this value to a variable so i will call it meal when we assign this value to meal we need to convert this to float that's what the program requirement is asking us we put this input in load function and then it will be automatically converted to decimal number so this one also performed I will turn into plus once we are done with that requirement the program should calculate the tax amount based on the local tax rate so how do we calculate the tax amount? So tax amount is a rate. It can be written as a fraction. It can be written as a decimal. So we need to multiply that with meal value. So I will create a new variable. I will call it tax meal times. So it's a, pro a portion, a fraction of the meal cost, basically. And I will represent it by fraction value. So we can put a comment here. So tax rate is 7%. It can be also described as decimal. So it could be also 0 0.07 equivalent to 7 over 100. So we calculated the tax amount. So let's put a plus on this one. Next, the program should calculate the tip amount as 18% of the meal cost without tax. Similar to tax, we need to create variable, tip variable. It will be meal times the value of the, the rate of the tip. So it is 18%. This time we will put 18 over 100. So it could be also decimal equivalent to 0 0.18. Okay, this is also done. Next, the program should calculate the total cost of the meal including tax and tip. Okay, so we need to create another variable. We will call it total equals original meal amount plus tax amount plus tip amount. We add these all together. Program should calculate the cost of the meal including tax and tip. Yes, we did this. That is also plus. The program should show the tax amount, tip amount and the total cost of the meal all with the two decimal places. So this is the critical part of this requirement. We need to write in two decimal place. So I will use round function for this. So I will need to show tax amount, tip amount and total. So I will need three print function here. Print function. Now I can copy this with control or command D and I will fill that in. So I will start with tax amount, tax amount, column and then comma then text variable will be written here in the next print i will print according to requirement tip amount tip amount column and then tip variable and here we need to show total total amount column comma so total variable has the total value here so we need to include total here so this should print all these three lines at the end and we have no more requirements left let's check our program click on the play button here on the right corner make sure it is current file in the menu so we can run this file only so what is the meal cost i will enter as decimal 45 dollars 34 cents what we need to do as requirement requires us we need to make it two decimal as i said we will use round function so we will wrap this text with the round function i will place it inside the round and run again. Post is 45 
34th. Yes, it calculated with the two decimal place, tax amount, tip amount, total amount 5668. So this is end of our solution uh, for this challenge. We will follow challenges from simple to complex challenges. Uh, as we add new videos, we solve new challenges. They will be more challenging. I hope you like this challenge. You like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on to receive updates when we add new videos. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you have another solution, another idea, another perspective, you can write in the comments so everyone can see it. It can be helpful for everyone. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.